The mortar in a newly installed fireplace has a high moisture content. Please be patient and do not light your fireplace immediately, but allow time for it to dry. You must wait at least three days after the installation to fire your tulikiri for the first time. Please ensure that the room temperature is at least 68 degrees Fahrenheit. Leave all the fireplace doors, air intakes and dampers open for the whole drying period. Only light your tulikiri fireplace after it has dried out. Too fast initial exposure to heat may cause breakage of the stones and is not covered under the warranty. Soapstone, a natural stone, was formed under tremendous pressure about two billion years ago. There are therefore internal stresses in the soapstone. These internal stresses must be released slowly as the temperature of the stone is raised during the initial firings. After the initial curing process of the fireplace, you can start with a test fire in order to prime the draft in the chimney. It's quite simple. Open the soot plug and burn several sheets of newspaper inside the base channel. Then close the soot plug. Now open all the air intakes in the doors so that the fire can get plenty of air. Place small pieces of kindling wood on the grate. Now, for today, place not more than two or three logs on top. And light with a fire starter. Close the door of the firebox and watch the fire burn up. Isn't that great? Let the wood burn out and don't close the air supply. Next morning, place kindling wood on the grate again. Today you can put more wood on, three to four logs, depending on the size of the fireplace. Stack them with plenty of airspace between each log. Light the fire starter and close the fire box door. Let the wood burn out with all air intakes open and then let your Tully Kivi fireplace rest for a while. Continue the break in process in the evening. Depending on the size of the fireplace, put three to five logs onto the kindling this time, more than this morning. Then add a fire starter and light it. After the fire, the soapstone fireplace needs a rest until tomorrow. And on the next day, please be patient increase slowly. The logs are stacked once more on the kindling but this time add four to six logs with plenty of air between them. Light the fire starter and then let it blaze up. Your Tully Kiwi fireplace needs a rest now but tomorrow you can really get going. This is the last day of the break-in process. Depending on the size of the fireplace, stack four to seven logs in the firebox after you've placed kindling on the grate, of course. Now light the fire starter. With this quantity of wood, you can have a real fire for the first time. Let it burn up briskly and do not reduce the air supply. Once the first load of wood has burnt down to embers, you can add another load of wood. Close the air intake in the ash box door and slowly open the firebox door. 
This prevents ash and smoke blowing into the room. Now place more wood on the embers. Don't throw the wood into the firebox. This could move and loosen the stones in the firebox and possibly cause long-term damage. Fully open the air intake once more. Do not reduce the combustion air supply in order to slow down the burning rate. The Tully Kivi fireplace needs a high hot flame to produce the optimum amount of heat. The firebox can be filled for a third time if needed, once the wood has burnt down to embers. Now allow the fire to burn out completely. Only close the primary and secondary air intakes, as well as the damper, when the red coals have disappeared. Your Tuli Kivi fireplace will now radiate the stored heat over a long period of time without the need for additional firing.